So, I wasn't going to do this video, but the sparring of Sneeko and Strickland came on my radar on my YouTube channel a few times, I watched it, I had fun with it, so I guess let's make a discussion, a reaction on it. And to start the point, I will be short, quick, not too much of an explanation, we will give my point of view on the fight and you let me know down in the comments what do you think. So first of all, props to Sneeko for taking the fight, but what I think happened is he wasn't expecting for Strickland to beat his ass this badly. He probably thought he will protect him, they will spar a little bit and it will be a light sparring because Strickland is uh, 100 levels above Silco, but uh, not Silco, what am I talking, Sneeko. Yeah, okay, never mind. Uh, but Strickland gave him 2 minutes, 3 minutes, I don't know, so, to do whatever he wants and then that last minute he broke his fucking head. He almost uh, ripped his neck out of his body, but I don't know, but props to Sneeko, he has balls for taking that fight. Uh, for the most part of the fight, Strickland was just putting his hands, joking with Sneeko, walking around, circling, putting him into a corner. But Sneeko did one good job, he was circling around, trying to jab the body, jab the head a little bit, uh, dance around the ring, as we used to say. But just it was just a power difference because Nico could never knock him out with a power shot and he didn't know what to do. But for the most part, he was doing right. The one thing he could have done is like throw a faint combination ha! Ha! and when he does that, Strickland would have come and he should have backed a little bit, hop, boom straight jump into the jaw because he was walking like this but to be honest that if even if Nico knew that even he if he had me in his corner and was about and he heard me say that and he did it that would have just made Strickland even more mad and he, he would have beaten him even more badly but at least Strickland taught him a lesson that there are levels to this game and that he and because uh, Sneeko had a few boxing lessons and knows how to throw a straight left and right, doesn't make him a fighter, just makes him a normal dude that can throw two punches. Uh, I know, I was always the lighter, uh, I was the, the lowest di uh, division, let's say. I was 60 kilograms, 50 kilograms, 42 kilograms, always was the lightest in my peers. So everybody was 10, 20 kilos. I don't know how much that is in pounds, but everyone was way heavier than me. And I always fought 10 to 20 kilogram guys heavier than me. Imagine what, what that is like for a 16 year old getting punched by this much folks. But that made me 10 times better and like fighting guys on my weight was like a joke after that because I was fighting the, these big ass dudes but uh, yeah even though there was a height difference in this fight there was a weight difference and there was a years 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 of experience and knowledge and fighting and everything because after Rostigan is a UFC uh, champion, middleweight champion, I don't know what category he is, but yeah, he is a UFC champion after all. Like, doesn't make sense, but Sneeko had, had some balls, decided he would box Strickland, and after that, after he, after Strickland let him throw some punches, this was the worst mistake that Sneeko did, but he doesn't know and he couldn't do anything else but uh, cover up and uh, accept those punches like 
you see that like he's throwing uh, just hooks like he's he threw one overhand right but most of the others are just hooks because Sneeko turned he almost wanted to turn his back because he ate too many shots in the face and that's a normal mistake and for someone that is not experienced and doesn't know what to do when he's put into immense pressure of punches over his body and also as uh, Mighty Mouse did a reaction on this and he said if Strick won't, one time <laughs> ever hit him in the liver it would have been over and no need for all the shots but probably he wanted to teach him a lesson see if he, he will uh, I don't know, give up or something, but he went 95% for the head and it was like, I ju I'm just watching and I'm like concussion, 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 concussion. Like I felt what it's like to get hit for from an experienced fighter, a champion, in the face, straight into the jaw, 20, 20 kilograms heavier than me and it wasn't nice. Imagine what it's like to be hit from strict front. But, but one thing Sneeko could have done, at least, is like when strict one started throwing bombs on him, he could have he could have covered as much and he should have covered like this. And watch, not turn, because now when you're like this, you don't see nothing from here. This hand is covering, and you're covering, and the punch comes from here straight into the face. What he should have done is stay, stay like this, try to catch as many as the punches, and and just wait for an opportunity like when Strickland throws a uh, hook from here, when he throws the hook, he should have do that, and and from here straight and run away. But as I said, the level difference of experience and everything is too much. Even if he managed to do that, it wouldn't be enough. But what I would would have done in this situation is this: stay, try to not uh, try to fight the feeling of turning around and wanting to cover up, and trying to catch that first first uh, hook. Then straight into the jaw and run away with the overhand lift. Then, then as he comes, stopping him with a few jabs, he's coming like these bombs. Cover up, hands up, stop him with a few jabs, stop him with a few jabs, and then wait for his lean a little bit forward. And when he throws that hook again, just duck. Oof, huge overhand, but I don't know if that would have worked because I have never sparked Sean Strickland and he's a UFC uh, fighter and a legend in the sport, so I don't know if that would have worked. I would love to spark him as well. Sean, if you want, I will do a sparring. I will take some of your shots. But yeah, this is, this is my opinion of what I would have tried. To do but I cannot say because maybe maybe Strickland was just playing and just throwing bombs just to teach him a lesson maybe that would have wouldn't work even if I did it who knows but still props to Sneeko for taking that fight and taking those shots he has a job man I mean most of the guys in his weight category and his level of experience would have been dead knocked out by that but he ate those bombs in the face. I mean, even though he's an influencer, props to him. So, yeah, props to him, props to Sean for wanting to teach young men what it's like to eat a punch in the face, not only hide behind camera and YouTube and everything. And yeah, but boxing and fighting as a whole is a very, a very tough sport. Talking from experience, I have trained almost every sport that is kickboxing, MMA, grappling, wrestling, boxing, 
went on competitions, national competitions, European competition was on the way, but yeah, I didn't went to that. But I know how to do that sport is, and I know what it's like to get fucking punched in the face numerous times, one after the other, from a way heavier guy, and way more, more experienced one in that regard. So, props to Sneeko. I hope he doesn't have a serious brain damage after that fight, but yeah. And that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed my point of view, and see you in the next one.